Hello and welcome to Linda's 144 Hobbies. Today it is my first floss tube video ever. Uh, well, I did make a parking video on my old channel some years ago, um, but then I didn't know anything about floss tube. Um, <clears throat> I've been cross-stitching for many, many years, um, so I know quite a lot about it. Uh, I don't know everything, of course, uh, but I must confess that I am a hate stitcher or a heaven and earth design stitcher uh, and have been since I found out about them. Um, I think they celebrated... I think they started out around 2007 and just a few years after that I, I found out about them and I have never stitched anything else since that day but I'm planning on, on changing that a bit actually uh, because um, Maybe it's not so fun watching, you know, someone stitch heaven and earth signs, which takes years to finish. Uh, if you're like me, doing everything else or having many uh, projects in a rotation. Um, so I thought maybe it would be fun to, you know, f see some other uh, patterns or some other designs. Uh, and actually there was a lady, it might have been on Rachel Ray's and Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's uh, group on Facebook, or it could have been some other crafting group. But she <coughs> showed a picture of a moose, and on his uh, horns uh, he's like holding... Um, a little village and there are some smokes coming out of the chimneys and I just oh I gotta have that one so I have ordered it well she told me where to order it or to look for it so I've ordered it and according to the tracking it has arrived to Sweden but I don't know when it's gonna arrive to my place but I ordered another pattern from Etsy and I have been looking for these patterns for quite a while, or designs, I guess you could say. And they look like this. It's so cool. Look at all that tiny detail. And it is called Squirrels of Sumatra. I don't know if it's, it's um, what you call that, mirrored? If the picture is mirrored? But it's squirrels, and I'm like, well, where's the squirrels, right? But they're right there. And they're so cute. I've seen that the, I, maybe it is um, Ink Circles who makes these designs. And I've seen they have some with dragons, I think, maybe mountains and stuff. So I'm like, wow, I gotta have that one. Um, I don't think there's any backstitching on this. And when I ordered it, I actually thought it came with um, threads and fabric. So I was a little bit disappointed when I got it. Uh, because this could just as well... Well, it's dark. Uh, could, it might as well be just a copy of the pattern. And I don't want to buy any copies, um, so I hope it's it's okay. Um, what I like about this as well is that I could order a handmade, no, a hand dyed fabric, and um, I did, and I also ordered. A hand dyed fabric for my Harry Potter stitch along and oh uh, it's Rachel Ray's fault she <laughs> enabled me with this stitch along and when I heard it was Harry Potter I was like ah, 
I gotta do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you here on my uh, surf board pad, whatever it's called when it's not an iPad. Uh, I will show you this site and I will also link the site down here. Uh, what I also want to show you is a new app uh, for Androids uh, and it's for patterns and it's especially for heaven and earth patterns. Uh, there's also some others, um, Payne's free patterns, I think it's called, and some others, uh, which is supported by this app. And it seems kind of awesome have been looking a little bit more into it and it's like mm, yeah it is a beta version and you can tell uh, i actually thought it would be better once i paid for it i paid ten dollars for it and there was no difference not that i have noticed anyway so i don't know but um it seems like a really awesome app so i, I need to i i need to get to know it some more and I want to show you that. Um, what else? Why is it the light going down every time I turn my head? Maybe my face is so white. <laughs> it's something happens when I turn away. Um, yes, I will show you that. And if there is, I don't want to keep this too long, but um, if there is some time left, um, I will also show you uh, what I am working on, on my big uh, roll, uh, what you call frame, stretch frame. Uh, it's on heaven and earth and I've just started it. Well, I started it in the spring this year, but I haven't touched it since I tried out uh, diamond painting. But I'm getting a bit eager to get back to stitching as well. Just not maybe every day, but you know, to just keep it going. Anyway, let's stop talking. I will rearrange the camera and I will get back to you just in a sec. All right. So, <clears throat> um, the app I'm talking about is this one. It's called what did I do? It's called Pattern Keeper. And when you open it up, here I have four of my Heaven and Earth patterns. I have many more, but uh, these are the ones I have, uh, you know, practiced to um to download and all this because i had an another uh, pad before which uh, didn't support the android system uh, so i had been working a bit with that anyway um so i'm gonna try to see if i can teach you this or the only thing that i know uh, I you press the plus button here and then uh, I get into my uh, Google Drive uh, where I have saved some PDF files um, and here you can see I also have the four head patterns right so now I want to go and pick up um, the pattern to the cross stitch I'm working on on my big scroll frame at the moment so I press um, there's like a menu here to the left and I choose Google Drive and the middle sign which is Google Drive I guess no I think uh, Google Drive da, 
that is not how I was going to do this. Maybe I need to enter a Gmail. Let's try. Because I know I have sent the pattern to myself. And it is the supersized Grand Monster Max colors. So if I open it up. And I want to open it as a drive PDF. This is the one. And I press save to drive. And that is what I want to do. To this save. It's in Swedish. So that's, uh, I don't know uh, what's uh, mean in it. Well, I don't know what that is called in English. So let's try it again. Pattern Keeper. You have to make sure to have your patterns saved to the Google Drive, right? Plus, and yeah, now it is saved here to the Google Drive, right? So I choose the pattern and then it says that this seems to be a design from heaven and earth and usually their pages is overlapped with three rows columns and they're asking do you want to remove this and no I don't want to remove it because I'm very used to working with them so I can't choose yes and if I tr press cancel then it will cancel so I choose advanced. And here it asks again if it's overlapping, and it does. I choose yes, and I want them to overlap. And then it's asking me how it's overlapped. And on the first page of the pattern, there are no overlappings. But on the next page, the overlapping is to the left. And the row underneath the first page the overlapping is on the top and the one after that is to the left and to the top. So this is the overlapping system I want. I press OK. And it's counting. It has, well, over 100, maybe 118 pages, it seems. So I guess it takes some time for it to, to read the pages and whatever it does. And the file I downloaded is a file I used on the other pad. So I have already marked off some symbols I have stitched. So I'm not sure how it's going to work uh, with this program. So now it's finished. I press it. And here uh, the program wants me to verify the imported chart. It wants me to, you know, see if the mock-up is correct according to the downloaded uh, picture, I think. So this is the mock-up. It says up here to the right, mock-up, and there is the PDF. I choose the PDF and I see it is the same. Look at that duck. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, I love them. There's so much detail in this. And what is so cool about this app is what you see here to the left. It is the legend for the whole uh, pattern. I go to the PDF and there is an arrow to the left. <clears throat> so here you can see, I don't know, no, you can't make it bigger. That's unfortunately the first color on this pattern is this symbol and zero one. And I'm checking if it's the correct 
symbol and color on the legend of in the pattern and it's correct. I would suggest, I won't do it here on camera, but since it's the new app, I would actually kind of go through the pattern and the legend in the program and compare them so it is actually the same color and symbol. Because if the program is wrong, your whole stitching is going to be wrong and you don't want that at all. Right? So let's enter the tools. I press the arrow here and you get this big white thing. So every square is a page of the pattern and it's a big pattern. And to your right here, again, you have the legend and you have some some colors as well. So you know kind of what color it is. But now let's get to the cool thing, right? Let's say I know for a fact that yeah, there's over 230 colors in this nice little pattern. So there's a lot of uh, stitches, but it actually also says it's so cool. You know, you have the symbol, the DMC color, and how many stitches there is of that color. And since I have already started this pattern, I know that this color is the color, uh, yeah, where there is most stitches of this color, right? And I'm extreme, cost, extreme, uh, <laughs> extreme cross country stitching. So I always start out with the color where there's most stitches. And I want to know where can I find all of them, all of them. I press that um, symbol and voila, you get right away. It finds all the stitches of that color and you can it's so cool it's so freaking cool let's see so what is kind of cool as well is since i downloaded a copy where i have already marked off symbols you're not going to see them on this pattern you can see here it's a light green, which means I have already marked them off. I've already stitched those. But here you can see it has found all the symbols. So what, what I don't like about the app so far, but it's a lot of information it's dealing with. It's, it's a bit difficult to, to minimize and expand zoom in and yeah and zoom out it's a bit difficult so this is page one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so on page twelve let's zoom in and hope this is page twelve Oh, you don't get that information, right? And I can also see that it doesn't look like there's any overlapping. Hmm. Let's go to page one. Oh yeah, there's no stitches on this one, right? 60 and 7. Let's go back. Um, yep, 
Yeah, that's also a thing. I don't know how to to get back, you know, to the start. Anyway, here on <clears throat> the short side. Oops. Here on the short side, you can see how many stitches you have done today and how many you've done made of all the total and it's 0.54% finished. Yeah, so <clears throat> there's still some things that I wonder about. Let's check here. There are some wheels. We can go in and look. There are some general. It shows show page breaks. I don't know what that is. Let's take that away. And it sh shows that the search color is green. You can s switch to any color you want. And the parking. So this is also, I guess, a parking app. Um, so if you want to park, you can also use that. I haven't tried parking, but we should, we're going to find out. And dia diagonal all lines upper left to lower right look I have no spacing between diagonals I have no idea what that means I know what diagonal is but in the pattern and this is red so I have no idea but that's all the things you can do oh yeah so I removed the lines and now you can't see the pages right and mm. I don't like that. So this is how the first there, when you have pressed that one, that's when you can, you know, move around in the pattern. And the, what you call that? Hello. Oh yeah, this is working awesome. Let's try another. Why isn't it working? It worked before. It's just great when you're going to do a tutorial and stuff doesn't work. I think it crashed. I wanted to show that when you press the the magnifying glass then you're gonna then instead of choosing from the legend to the right you can choose to press a symbol a symbol in the pattern and it will search out uh, which color it is and the information you need But then you have to, yeah, now it worked. Awesome. I guess you have to zoom in. So when you press the magnifying glass, let's see. I want to know. Oh. I want to know where, you know, this uh, moon. See the, the half moon there? Let's see. I want to know what color is it? And where do I find it? And right away, it shows that it is color 315. And it searches out. No. 
and you have to press back to the arrows to be able to zoom out. Now there weren't that many of that color. Can you see that at all? Well, it searched out all the colors. No, all the, uh, of that symbol, where that is in the whole pattern. Right. Can you see that better? So that's all the uh, half moon symbols, 315. So now I wanna go in here and let's say I'm on this page. It's, it's too bad it doesn't show uh, the page information, what number of page you're on. It could help. So let's say, okay, I stitched them and I want to mark that I've stitched them. So then I press the highlighting uh, and I've stitched that one and that one and that one. And then when you press this one, uh, the arrow, it's gonna mark off that you have stitched them. I won't do that because I haven't stitched them. Or if you marked off the wrong symbol, you just choose clear. Now, I wonder, okay, so I, I hold in, I, I pressed and just held in pressed. And then it says select all unfinished highlighted stitches in square in this square. So there you can choose the square and then it choose, chooses those three and says you haven't stitched these yet. Okay. And if you hold in and there it says, select all the unfinished highlighted, highlighted stitches on the page. And you choose that and then it will show you, yeah, all the unfinished of the whole of that page. That is kind of nice, especially if you do the cross, cross country extreme like I'm doing. I really need such a tool like this app, but it is a, a beta version, so I guess uh, there is still a lot of work to do. I feel that there are some functions maybe that I would like to have. Uh, but I think that I can work with this app alone before I use the Goodreader and the ECPF. Uh, so I had two apps going at the same time, which was fine. Uh, but, you know, anything that can make you stitch faster is awesome. So, um, we'll drop this. Uh, this is all that I know about the app. I'm very new to it. I'm going to use it when I'm going to stitch uh, my heaven and earth. Uh, so I will find out more if it's workable or if I want to go back to using the easy PDF. Uh, but let's head over uh, to the Harry Potter stitch along. I just want to show you a little bit about that. So we're still on um, this surf pad. Um, you can do this, of course, on normal um, a normal computer or your phone, I guess. So I just hit uh, the internet and I gotten this link from Rachel Ray and I will also link it uh, in the description down below. So this is a blog posts uh, telling you about this stitch along, right? 
and it's called Stitch Your Own Adventure. That's what the S-Y-O-A stands for. And it's letters from Hogwarts. It's such an awesome thing to do. And, you know, all thumbs up to the girl who's, you know, doing this for us. So here you will get all, all the information. I will not press any links on YouTube. Um, so the pattern is free, but if you want to check it out and if you want to join the stitch along, I suggest that you go here to this page and here you can see it says, um, open your letter here and there's a lot of information there and you will also see the pattern and the patterns for the different ones. Um, and here's also some earlier post information about the stitch along and how it works. The third link is uh, a floss uh, list for the complete project. And actually here you can, uh, they have some, um, what do you call that? Yeah, uh, the one, the woman who's uh, doing this stitch along is working together with Misty of Mystic Hand Dyed Cross Stitch Fabrics. And you can get some really nice hand dyed fabrics over at her page. And that's where I ordered uh, the fabric for my Harry Potter stitch along, but also for uh, the squirrels of Sumatra. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, when you have a lot of background, unstitched background, then hand dyed fabric is the way to go in my opinion. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, really, uh, just go and check this out if you like stitching. Um, I had a hard time figuring out some of the information but I reread it, I took my time and then I figured out how the pattern works. It's just awesome. So uh, there is a Facebook group as well. Um, it says somewhere um, if yeah uh, maybe here. If I'll find the, the link to the Facebook group, I will link it uh, down below as well. So, um, do you guys want to, yeah, hang out for a thread of cross stitching on an heaven and earth? Yes, let's do that. Let me rearrange the camera and I'll see you in a second. All right, um, so I've uh, bring I've brought f my floor stand uh, into my little hobby area. It's a um, what you call that necessary stand. It's the Millennium Frames with its floor, floor stand, and I ordered it just before they got very very. Um, popular so I didn't have to wait as long as some people have to do now um, yeah let me see if I can show you this so this is one bag of strands but it's not only one bag for this kit. There is one more, which a bit more. So there, there's a lot of floss in this uh, kit. And I have a small extra piece of uh, threads here. And 
it's because I noticed right away when I got the kit that there were not enough threads of at least these colors. Uh, so I con contacted Michelle, who's the owner of Heaven and Earth, and uh, they checked out the pattern and sent the missing threads. So I hope all the other colors, that there is enough of those. So I have the color, um, I don't know, it's, it's white on white, so it's very difficult. But this is the duck's, uh, the top of his head. And here's some whites, white spots here. And that's the small birds he has on top of his head, you know, on his hat. And as I said, I'm ex extreme cross country stitching this thing. So I'm going to stitch this white color because it has the most stitches of this color. And I will stitch that on the whole pattern. And then I'm done with that color and I switch to another one. So I'm just pulling a strand. I'm stitching on uh, 25 count. It's even weave and it is um, the easy guide. So I don't have to grid out uh, the fabric with some fish lines, which I usually, I usually use fish lines. It's already gridded, as you can see with the gray lines. And it's a 10 by 10 grid, which is perfect. So once you're done with the pattern, you know, with the whole design, then you just uh, wash out the lines. So I will thread my needle. Now I'm so unprepared, I haven't brought out um, where I'm going to stitch, but we have to figure that out as well. So I open my pattern keeper, I go to the pattern I'm going to work at, and then I know that it is the 38 65 so I choose that and then I zoom in to the head and now I'm going to stitch all this line the top line there And when there are so many, I'm going to zoom in. When there are so many stitches of the same uh, color. I'm like, yeah, how do I usually do this? It's been a while. I will just do like this. I think I usually start with a, uh, what do you call it, pin stitch. But I ran the thread underneath all the, th the stitches I'm going to stitch here, so. And I usually stitch the whole stitch. I start from the bottom left, go to the right top, then I go down to the right bottom and up to the left top. Yeah. 
and yeah I think this is the most difficult thing to stitch with a uh, white thread on white background. But uh, I think it's very soothing, the sound of the thread going up and down. And I have one hand on top, like here, and then I have my left hand underneath the fabric. So now I stitched all the way to the gray line here. So now I will mark off those stitches on the pattern. It's those there. So I'm gonna mark them off. Let me zoom you out so you can see what I'm doing. So I pressed that. It's like uh, a marker, right? So now I want to mark the stitches I stitched. to the gray line and I don't know why if this is the overlapping the next line now I'm pressing the OK button and they disappeared that was kind of cool also one thing it seems that I can't regret the, st the stitched stitches. And mm, I don't know about that. I don't think I like that. What do you do if you uh, find out that you've done something wrong? Let's go to the this one. Uh, use translucent highlights. I think you might see the symbols when you have that. Yeah. It's there. I don't know if you can see it underneath the light greens. I can see that symbol, but it's very difficult. All right. I will continue. So I don't like that you can't regret. So I feel it's been a while since I stitched, so once I've stitched for a few days, this is going a lot faster. But it's not a competition. Enjoying the process is what's important. So I have hundreds of pa hundreds. I have over a hundred patterns from heaven and earth. So, but I I haven't started them all, but I've started a lot of them, 
and at this moment I think I have five or six in rotation. So I reached the other gray line there, so that's 10 more stitches. And since I don't know the app too well, I want to mark them off. So I attach, choose the marking symbol, no, the marking tool, and I'm gonna mark off this line. That's 10 more stitches. And I choose the arrows so I can move the pattern and see what's the next. So it looks like I'm going to stitch 10 more, jump one and stitch one. I'll do that as well and we'll call it a day maybe. So yeah, I'm actually really, really looking forward to one of the other kits um, where you have some nice fabric, not so many colors. I guess you're able to finish quite fast. Um, I think I have uh, four completed Heaven and Earths, but none of them are the big ones. There, is, there are smaller ones, it's uh, quick stitches and story keeps and, oh, and my favorite, train of dreams. That's the first head I ever did. Head. I call them head. So I reached the other gray. I've done my 10 stitches. So I was going to jump one, which is this one, and jump to the next finish off with a single stitch. And again, I mark off. I do um, a lot of, you know, marking off. Uh, so if I notice a mistake, I can fix that as fast as possible right so so that's it yeah that's uh, my first floss tube and I hope you guys found it a bit informative um, if there is anything anything you want to see um, if you have any questions, especially like parking, a lot of people think that uh, seems very difficult, which it, it sh which is it isn't. It isn't difficult. Uh, I can show you that. Um, maybe you want to see tent stitching or whatever. Yeah, just leave a comment below, and I will try to answer or show it as to my ability. To the best of my ability uh, and well don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't done that already because then i will see you in my next floss tube yeah anyway uh thank you for watching bye